Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Anna. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thanks for returning. In this video, I'm going to show you guys and take you along for the journey of getting my new camera, which that I am recording on right now. So, um, and but we'll, I'll take you back in time to testing them out and stuff like that. Hi guys, so today mom, dad, and I are going to Best Buy to see if I want to get a smaller camera so that I can make it easier for me to film and so that it's not so heavy or it makes it easier to carry it around and also to see if the camera app could potentially work for me. Um, I want to get a vlogging camera. I'll pop up a picture of the camera that I actually want. But, yeah, that's what we're doing today. So, I will pick up with you guys another day. And our main objective of going to Best Buy is to actually have me hold the camera and to see if I could make it work for me. So, I'm going to take you guys with me and we'll see what is there. Hey guys, we're on at Best Buy and it's kind of loud so don't mind that. But I'm looking at my Sony camera that I'm looking at and it, it really does work for me or like as close as I can get to. It's on a wire on a thing so I can't really hold it up properly. But you're but able to touch I'm the button. I'm able to touch the button. And, and hold it. Yeah, and use it without like it being too heavy yeah so i'm it's close enough where i can safely say like that it is underproof or like you're, it's proof. something you're very much interested in now. yeah i'll pick this up later um but yeah it's safely to say this is probably my biggest camera that i'm looking at right now or my biggest Favorite pack. Option, yeah. Your favorite pack. And I will pick you guys back up when something happens. <laughs> we are back home from Best Buy and it was a very successful trip because I was able to test out test out if I can hold the cameras. Cause currently I cannot hold my um Canon camera independently. And yeah, that was one of the things that I wish I would have done differently was go out and test the cameras. So I'm trying to learn from my past mistakes and do it differently this time. So I will let you guys know when there's an update on my camera or like the camera situation and what transpires from all of this and what I go with. And I did look at other cameras too. I'm just not really sure about it. They did mention GoPros. I looked at like old fashioned video, cam video cameras, but because I can't really, my fingers and all of that, I don't think I'm gonna go with that. But all this to say is I'm not, we're not really sure what we're gonna do. And back a, a couple of months ago, I did think about getting a GoPro. Which is still an option for me. I just don't know how I feel about it. And yeah, so I will let you guys know what I end up doing. So in today's video, I'm going to open my new camera. Anyway, I'll just let, I'll just open the box. So I got an SD card, wait, a new SD card because I'm getting a new camera. Yeah, and I'm getting the Sony ZV-1.
just a trip plan that I got. I hope it's the white version because it's the one I got. So, the reason why I got a new camera was in the effort of me trying to be more self-sufficient with editing or with videoing. And my mom no longer wants to be my video, um, video for someone who is not here. <laughs> so, um, plus it gives me more flexibility with the content I can Right, with like vlog style versus sit down like this portion is right now. Also, this camera is more user friendly and plus there's less like um buttons. I mean this camera is, is literally created for YouTubers slash content creators in mind. And it's a smaller compact camera which is easier for me to handle and stuff like that. And you can find YouTube videos on it because it, is, it has YouTube in mind so there's lots of videos. I how to get it all set up. One of the like, major points this time going around um, is I wanted to be a light camera. Because my last camera was only two pounds, but it seemed like a lot heavier than that. Um, and how light it was would make it, make it feasible for me to use it independently. I don't. I'm still working on the independent part of it, but um, so far so good, and we'll see what it and like as time goes on. Okay, so I have. I watch other YouTube creators that have this camera, but the one that really made me interested in was Chelsea Hill, and she's also a disabled content creator. But the thing is, she's a spinal cord injury, and I am um, a birth back, so but we still have to move our realtors around. So as soon as I knew um, that she could do it, it kind of gave me more confidence that I had somebody to, in a similar situation as myself to be like, okay, this is the camera I'm going to get because I know I have my own um, limitations. And this is not sponsored by any um, entity or anything like that. Why I chose this camera is because one, it's a vlogging camera and I've always want and it's smaller. Two, um, there's no shut off because my Canon used to have, after 30 minutes of filming, it would shut off automatically and this one doesn't have it. And that's another reason why I wanted to switch from Canon to Sony um, because the all Canon cameras have that. Not just my camera because I did look at the G7 X Mark II, um, and it did have the same issue, and I didn't want to deal with that. And so, cause we all know I can, um, I can be very long-winded. I am trying to simplify my life, and in so many other ways, or make it less complicated than it already is, cause I already have enough complications as it comes. So. There we go. And that concludes the end of the video. I will see you guys next time. Remember to keep on rolling. Bye!